Hey y'all, hope you're having a great day today. Have you ever thought to yourself, you know what? I wish I had something that could allow me a unique perspective. I want something that can get me a product as an image that not very many people are able to get. The Tamron 17 to 35 f2.8 to 4 is going to be a great lens for you if you are a landscape photographer, if you're a hobbyist, if you're an event shooter that wants something a little bit extra wide to be able to throw in the bag. That f2.8 to 4 could be a bit of a challenge for a lot of people to overcome, but this is a full frame lens. So this is gonna be a lens coming in, you know, reasonable price point by comparison to the very high end of ultra wide zooms and you're gonna be able to get some really cool results, right? Because 17, that's not super wide, but it's pretty, pretty wide. It's all but fisheye, right? And so being able to say, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna capture this moment really wide. This this moment of the the couple on on the dais, if you're a wedding photographer, I'm gonna I'm gonna capture this so that you can see everybody in the entire space. That could be a really powerful image for them if they were lit well, at least. You know, if it, if they could stand out from that. And you're you're not going to be able to get that for the price with any other lens. This is going to be a lens that you you buy, you drop in your bag, and you take it out for something really interesting, for something really special, for something really unique. Hey, don't forget to motor drive all over that like button if you've been enjoying the video. Of course, dislike it if you didn't enjoy it. And this is a lens that reforms moments and memories to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more encompassing because you no longer are limited by, you know, your, your 24 to 70 or 24 to 105 or whatever. You're gonna be able to get just that little bit wider. You're gonna be able to bring a little bit more into the frame. That's 17 f 2.8, that's super compelling. I really wish this lens was coming out for Sony E-mount because I would really kind of need it at that point. Maximum magnification ratio of about one to five, minimum shooting distance of like 0.3 meters. I know that's a little bit off, but at that point, who cares? This lens is also impressively weather sealed. So it's got coatings on the front that are oil and water resistant, finger fingerprints and all that are oily. So you, you'll be able to clean it. It's not gonna be damaged as much by dust and all that sort of stuff. And it has a lot of seals so that it's gonna be nice and locked down against you know compromising weather situations, which is awesome. And let me know uh, how you plan on using the 17 to 35 from Tamron in the comments below. Filter diameter, 77 millimeter weight, just under 500 grams. This is a lens that's incredibly practical for like 99% of people that are gonna be interested in it, right? It's the right filter size for the filters you probably already have. It's the right weight. It's not too heavy, it's about pound and change. So it's about the same weight as most bodies are nowadays, to be completely honest, or you know, at least the Sony bodies. 10 optical groups with 15 elements, great optical quality. Tamron's DI series lenses have been surprising optical quality with surprising price points. And they're able to do that, in my opinion, because they're saying, you know what, we're gonna shrink our margin dollars. We're gonna, we're gonna reduce how much margin we're taking on this product. And then we're gonna do more unit volume because we're making such a good product and we're undercutting the competition. And that's a really strong thing to do, especially with a lens like this, with a lens like the 17 to 35 that's special, because you're not gonna be able to get a lens this wide, this bright, with <laughs> autofocus, in this price range yeah. until Tamron's walking into this space doing it, which is awesome. That OSD AF motor, the optimized silent drive motor is gonna keep everything really quiet if you're gonna use it as a vlogging lens, whatever. By the way, this is gonna make a great vlogging lens, 17 and f2.8. You're gonna pull everything into the frame, which is great, but you will be able to still get some bokeh, which is also great. Um, and you know, it just seems like, it seems like this is what the 18 to 35 that Sigma Art makes for APS-C lenses, for APS-C cameras, grew up to be as this Tamron 2.8 to 4. The F1.8 on the, on the Sigma Art is an equivalent to like an F2.8 in the first place. So we're getting the same amount of light 
transmission through the lens at the wide end either way. So that's super compelling, right? And then when you think, you know what? You only use a zoom at one end or the other most of the time anyway. You're not typically racking through on a regular basis. Exposure, not going to be too hard. You're not going to need everything super wide open anyways, especially because target shooter for this, landscapist, event photographer, um, hobbyist that wants to have that little extra reach in the bag. This is a lens that is going to be great for so many people. It's not great for me. It's not great for me because it's not in Sony E-mount, so I'm very jealous of you Canon and Nikon shooters. So, oh well. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time and for your attention. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're excited like I am about the Tamron 17-35, to and I'm going to look forward to seeing you in the next one.